Okay, YouTube. So, really tired video on Tuesday. Sorry. Um, I Like I said, I had been to the gym that day. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that um, during this pre-op phase. Because, uh, wow. Um, that's how I feel about that. I do miss it. I love being in the water. I love swimming, which is my workout of choice. Um, makes me happy. Makes me calm. Feel relaxed. But uh, right now, it seems to just make me dead to the world. Really, just dead. Um, so just a couple of quick things. No stats today. Just uh, what's going on with me. I guess I could bring these things closer to me. Uh, some of you saw this on Facebook. Some of you might not have. This is at Walmart. It kind of caught my eye. It was one of those impulsive buy kind of things. There's 15 grams of protein in it and 120 calories, 11 carbs, covering my face, um, 2 grams of fat. This didn't make it past the tip of my tongue. Quite literally tipped it into my mouth before my entire being said, swallow that and we are unilaterally rejecting it, just so you know. Um, and then, after I let it sit for a minute, it uh, separated. This is an interesting thing. Plant-based protein shake with greens. And I tell you what, you let that sit there for a minute, you'll have a uh, fruity protein shake in this skim of green colored what have you on the top of it. So not only did it taste disgusting, it uh, looks disgusting. So that's what I think of that, and that's probably going straight into the trash. I don't wish it off anyone. Number two, I got a pill organizer. Just cheapy, $4, Walgreen, whatever. Um, because I have never had so many vitamins and pills in my life. In fact, this officially makes me old, sorry. I don't mean to offend anyone, but um, my grandparents are in their 90s and they don't even need a pill like an organizer. I now take more vitamins and pills than they do. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now in the meantime. Uh, to tell the truth, even though I have a little bit of an exhaustion problem, the pre-op diet is going well. It's not bothering me too much. Um, I've gotten into a routine and my routine looks like this. I do a Java Pro shake in the morning. Uh, with eight ounces of milk and then the other eight ounces water and I have midday maybe one of the soups that I'm allowed and either a the watermelon 40 gram protein shot thingy or another protein shake shake um, and then at night I might have some vegetable soup and a vanilla protein shake um, if I have a shake in the middle of the day instead of the shot thing, it's usually isopure, Dutch chocolate, zero carb. And my vanilla shake at night is the zero carb vanilla by isopure. Um, so that's what my day likes, looks like. I'm not having any hunger problems, really. I don't feel hungry. I crave food. No lie. Things smell good. I was stopped at a red light in front of the Mexican restaurant the other today. And, yeah, I just tried to ignore that it was there, but um, it smelled good. It smelled so good. So that's going okay. The only thing that I'm having is, even though I'm good during the day, I get up in the morning, I go to work, I seem like I have plenty of energy to get through the day. When I get to about four in the evening, I get this really heaviness in my head. Like I'm borderline lightheaded. Yeah, heaviness in my head and lightheaded. Me. Um, but borderline lightheaded, I feel a little loopy, and I don't know what that's about. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to check my blood sugar to see if that is a problem. I'm not a diabetic, but my father and my grandmother are, so I don't know. Um, one of the things that I could note is that in the past, I've had some problems with quivering and shakiness and low blood sugar when I don't eat. Um, this diet is not giving me that. Uh, I'm getting all the nutrition I need and my body is acknowledging that it has the nutrition it needs, so I'm not getting the shakiness or anything. 
Um, but the thing about that is, is my dad used to do that too before he was diagnosed with his type 2 diabetes. So I guess the logical explanation could be I might be pre-diabetic and so my blood sugar might be low. Find out tomorrow, see how that goes. Um, if that's the case, I've already talked to my doctor's office and they've given me suggestions on how to deal with that. Um, so if I check tomorrow and my blood sugar is subpar, my next doohickey to get is going to be a monitor. So we'll see about that. Anyway, that is where I am. That's what's going on with me. A little more wakeful video, a little more, more me. <laughs> um, so. I hope everyone is doing well, and I hope everything has a fantastic week, and make every day as beautiful as you wish it to be.